Hi, you guys. Have you missed me? I know that I have missed you. So I just wanted to do this quick little video to let you know kind of what's been going on. If you've been following me for a couple years or so, you probably know what I'm about to say because it's the same story over and over again. But I also wanted to kind of just like clear the air so that I could talk about some really cool and exciting things that I have coming up on the channel and get you guys checking back in with me here on YouTube. What's been going on? I have not been well. I've not been ill. I've not been sick. Like if you saw me at the grocery store or whatever, you'd be like, oh, she's perfectly fine. But I have these, I liken them to chronic illnesses because to me they're very debilitating. Um, but certain things that do with my hormones, certain things to do with my thyroid, I have been diagnosed with hypothyroidism. Um, and so through the journey, this has been a gosh, I don't know, maybe 15 years of trying to figure out what is going on with my body having so many doctors gaslight me and tell me, well, we ran all the tests and there's just, we can't find anything. So I don't know, you know, you're making it up. I have, gosh, I've been in the therapy. I've been to a psychiatrist. I am on ADHD medication now. I have been on um, like a antidepressant, anti-anxiety medication specifically geared toward PMDD, which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Um, so I've been on this journey, doing all these things, getting treated for this thing, getting treated for that thing. And I'm still not feeling good, right? Like I'm like, I'm doing the most and I still don't feel even close to normal. So something's still not clicking. So I went to a specialist here in Charlotte. Long story short, she did this. Um, have you guys ever done a Dutch test before? It's like a urine test that you do I don't know, like every five hours or four hours over a 24 hour period and it tracks all kinds of things. First of all, your female hormones, but also your brain hormones. It looks for like indicators of gut health issues, um, melatonin it looks for to see if your body's producing that normally. It, it covers like a lot of things. That test came back and some things were like, duh, I knew that, like low progesterone, for example. I know I've had that for a long time. Um, something that I have suspected that I have had um, that nobody's been able to confirm for me is uh, adrenal fatigue. And they test through cortisol levels and DHEA levels. So she was able to tell me that that um, was off and gave me like a natural supplement to help with both of those. And then the last thing that was really surprising that I didn't even ever, it never even crossed my mind to look for, but my dopamine levels. And this is kind of like the saddest diagnosis of all the diagnoses is that my body is just like, yeah, we're going to just kind of skip that one. The one that's supposed to make you happy. You know what I mean? So my body does produce it at a normal level, but it takes a while through the day for my body to be like, okay, let's, you know, start feeling happy here. Um, so I'm on a, another natural, you know, herbs and stuff, um, supplement to boost my natural dopamine earlier in the day. So I'm on this like insane regimen of lots and lots and lots of pills at different times throughout the day plus the progesterone cream but i really finally think that we might have cracked the code my ultimate goal is to get off the like hard drugs like the the stuff for anxiety and depression get off the stuff for adhd find better coping mechanisms there i just didn't have the baseline the foundation to even start to begin to deal with those things on my own until I could figure out all this other stuff. So I feel the most hopeful I've ever felt after starting a new regimen. So that's promising, right? I mean, let's just find hope in this whole thing. Um, so yeah, I've taken the last couple of months to just be really kind to myself and do the things that felt right. Do the things that felt not necessarily easy because none of it's really easy, but do the stuff that felt like I could accomplish it and feel good about it. So I've been able to still be present on TikTok and Instagram pretty consistently, not the best, but pretty consistently. Um, and I have been teaching classes in person. 
uh, here locally. So that's really been able to help both financially, but also it's just really great. I just, I, I kind of like being a teacher, you guys. I wasn't 100% sure I'd be any good at it, but I have these kids coming through. I mean, adults too, but the kids, I just feel like, I don't know, unlocking this creativity in them so early and having them feel the joy of making something with their own hand. I don't know. It's really, really empowering and inspiring and you know probably is helping a lot with my mental health as well um, but i've also been teaching classes online so this is an interesting kind of concept um the company that owns free spirit fabrics um they have a program called sew it yourself so it yourself is a blog and just like an online resource for free beginner sewing patterns just simple simple projects that anybody who like was getting into sewing masks a couple of years ago and was like well now what um they could take the skills that they learned from that and apply it and maybe learn something new so they have that program all separate and then they approached me about being the kind of like host and instructor of siy tv where we pick one of the projects that are on their website and i teach a group of people how to sew it the way to sign up the only way to sign up is for you to talk to your local free spirit retailer um, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description box for like where all the free spirit fabrics are sold in by different states so that you can find a store near you you have to go to them they have to sign up for siy which is like an annual membership fee i think it's very inexpensive like a hundred and something dollars and then each class, they have to pay for each class um, in addition to their annual fee. But it's been really interesting because, you know, Free Spirit is not just United States. They also go into Canada. And so, so far I have taught on average about 30 or so Canadian women. <laughs> how to sew something every single month, the third Thursday in the evening. It's been really, really fun talking to them, getting to know them and helping them make these projects. Um, this is what I made for this month. It's a Tula Pink um, pattern for an infinity scarf, but it's got this interesting like pleating detail on it. So it's like visually kind of interesting. Um, it's not just like, well, first of all, it's not just one fabric, it's three fabrics. And it has this pleating, which gives it like volume in a way. I don't know. It's really, it's really interesting. Um, last month we made slippers, like actual fabric slippers. How cute are these? Um, so yeah, it's been really fun for me to make these projects too. Um, and kind of get out of the, you know, normal seat of just making a whole bunch of, you know, regular clothes all the time. That said, I have been sewing for myself as well. Um, on Instagram, you may know that I host a... Um, monthly like challenge I guess it's the, the rules are very loose you guys know me right we're not going to keep everything very regimented around here um, but basically every single month I post um, like a poll with three different indie patterns that fit some theme so for January it was sweaters February pajamas March is jumpsuits um, and so there's three patterns. People vote on the one that they like the most. And then we sew together. We sew that project, that pattern together. And then sometime eventually in the future, people share their projects that they made. I have some people who every single month like clockwork. Then I have people who were like, you know, just showing up with December's project just now, which is totally fine. I don't really care when you post it. It's just fun that we're all working on something together. It's fun that we are finding patterns that maybe you haven't heard of before, pattern companies you haven't heard of before. Um, the All the patterns are $12 or less US um, and size inclusive. But this was the project for January. It was the So North Cedar. Um, so North is a pattern company. This is the only pattern they have right now, I think, um, which obviously makes them like, you know, super under the radar, super limited. Like I said, in March, we have a jumpsuit. It's the Nina Lee. Nina Lee. I can't remember the name of it, but it's her little jumpsuit. It's like a kind of like a bib up top and then it has like pleating or gathers empire waist 
and then goes into kind of like a wider leg um, jumpsuit. I put a, um, a board on my Pinterest with kind of like helping people visualize what this thing is supposed to look like. You know, right now trending jumpsuits are either and I'm talking ready to wear, are either like fitted denim 1970s vibe, or they're these, these very loose fitting, but still really cute and still flattering somehow, even though it's not hugging any curves anywhere. Um, very comfortable, very loose. Think, think boho, think natural fibers, think like wovens with some stability to them not super drapey at all um so that was my inspiration for the three jumpsuits that i chose and so everyone chose the nina lee so coming up what's what to expect now um two very exciting things that i think you guys are going to be like stoked about and i hope you are they're two of my favorite things to do and i think two of your favorite things to watch um one is an upcoming sew along um, I'm going to try and do them every other month. Last year and the year before that, I did four a year. So every third month, I want to do more of them. I think you guys like them. I think you guys learn a lot from them. They're good resources for you for the project we're working on at that time, but also just good skills to learn to apply to other projects. So I have normally I take it to a vote on YouTube. This time I was sort of just like, no, I need it to be a pattern that's in my stash um, and easy to just kind of get going on this. And again, it's size inclusive. So it's a big four pattern, but it's a big four pattern that has the misses and the women's option. That's going to be mandatory going forward. Um, so big four, the misses and the women's version and current, right? So the pattern that I chose um 9642 it is fall you can tell because she's got a velvet version with tights and all that my version is going to be a little bit more like early spring i'm thinking something along this line with the sleeve um i don't have a lot of woven sleeved dresses um and this one's really interesting and a new skill even if you're looking at this and you're like yeah i know how to do bust gathers i know how to do a ruffle i know how to do a sleeve this one has a really interesting sleeve head um, construction where they actually use like uh, netting or organza or something to give the sleeve actual, you know, maintain that puffiness. So that'll be a fun thing for you guys to learn, even if you would normally be able to make this dress no problem. So go ahead and grab this pattern if you don't have it already. Um, the workbook is done. I'll put it a link in the description box to where you can download the free sew along workbook. If you're, if you're not familiar with what that is, I do these companion workbooks with all my sew alongs. It just, it has like, I don't know, just lots of resources in it to help you stay organized with your pattern, stay on time, get it done, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So that's coming. And then Stylemaker Fabrics swatch video. I know, I know, I know. You're all like cheering, yay. Um, the swatches will be here today. I'll be talking about, as always, with the swatch videos, different pattern ideas for the different fabrics. She told me she's gonna send um, a lot more of the solid colors that they have because you guys have expressed that you really like whenever I pair, like make outfits, you know, like this could be your top and this is your bottom and then wear this as a jacket or a cardigan and the colors all go well together. Um, so we're gonna be doing a lot more of that and hopefully it's just like the best one ever. Hope that helps kind of clear up what's been going on um, and help you get excited about what's to come. Um, so yeah, check the description box, lots of links. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. You're always the best and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.